Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So what I'm doing today is I'm just showing off some of the EA Play games. So I've never been a PC gamer apart from lots and lots of Football Manager. So I don't have, you know, any kind of games on Steam. And EA Play was £20 for the entire year. And I just thought, in case you are like me and you've never played you know, PC games, I thought this is a great way to actually get loads of games on the Steam Deck for very little money. But a lot of them are in yellow, so that is classed as playable. But obviously it, you do wonder what it means by that, so I thought I'll show off a little bit of footage from some of the games and maybe just explain what is playable and and why it's classed as playable and not verified. So let's start off with some Battlefield 4. So we've got Battlefield 4 here and this is running from Steam. It's pretty smooth, um, haven't had any kind of real frame drops, certainly not that I've noticed. Even with that explosion on the screen, it's pretty good. It it runs fantastically. Uh, I'm super impressed with this. I've got my settings set at 10 watts. And frame rate limit at 60, but it's not going to run any higher than that anyway. And yeah, I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, but yeah, this this looks absolutely fantastic on the Steam Deck. Really would recommend playing this one. My first time playing it. And I really, really like it. This one here we have got Dirt 5. Now the only thing I have done is I've changed the frame rate limit. Because it hovers somewhere between kind of 34 and 38. So you can get a lot more battery life if you just drop that frame rate limit to 30. So that's what I've done here. But it looks fantastic. I'm not a huge fan of uh, racing games. Gran Turismo played a lot of that. But I've never even heard of this series. And I'm super impressed with this game. Um, it looks fantastic. I know obviously it's a smaller screen on the Steam Deck, so it should look good, but I'm just so surprised at how well this game runs. It It's obviously, like I say, it was only getting about 38. I wasn't noticing any kind of huge dips in frame rate, but I thought lock it out at 30, and then you, you save yourself some battery. So that's what I've done. And it's another great game on that, that EA Play pass for 20 pounds for the year i think it's a it's a good deal there are loads of racing games um there's the whole dirt series and loads of need for speed but i just picked this one because this was one of the ones that was actually verified but dirt 5 yeah plays plays really really well this one here then we've got mass effect the legendary edition I have changed this one to 60 FPS and it runs very smooth. It's the first time I've kind of played this one. But so far, really enjoying it. Downsize is it's a little bit is slow to run. Uh, not slow to run, sorry, it's slow to load. That's definitely the the biggest downside to this game. But actually, like you say, occasional tiny tiny frame drop, but it runs really nicely. I don't know how different the the other game will look because I think 
this is a, a remaster so i think it is going to obviously have some slight improvements so i will check out the other one and see if there is any big differences and then i'll i'll let you guys know if if there is but yeah mass effect really enjoying this one last one then we have got jedi fallen order one of my favorite games of all time Now it's actually set, I think, at 30 FPS. It certainly doesn't run much higher than that anyway, so I have just uh, changed the the settings uh, and set that frame rate limit just so that we aren't getting any kind of dips or anything like that. But, I mean, as I say, one of my favourite games of all time... I've been replaying through this on the PS5 and to have the chance to actually play this on the go in handheld mode it's it is quite incredible and I'm I'm so impressed at how well it runs I I I really think they've done a fantastic job on on this game Nice orange lightsaber I've gone for. But yeah, I I think the EA play is probably worth picking it up for just this. Although I did see this on sale for about eight quid, so if you just want this game, then again you can pick this up. I think it's on sale still for about eight quid. But that's just a little bit of footage of Jedi Fallen Order. And I hope this has helped. I haven't obviously put on every single game. But if if you want to see more footage of more of the games. Then I can definitely add that in for you. Just obviously let me know in the comments which you'd like to see. And then I can... I can play them for a little bit and hopefully you can decide if you want to uh, to buy the pass or not. But thank you so much for watching guys. Take care everyone. Thanks a lot.